Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Erica Palmer-Smith and Rick Henderson, in December, a federal court ruled that the Obamacare provision that required individuals to purchase health insurance, the individual mandate, was unconstitutional. Many now question whether this fundamental pillar of the Affordable Care Act renders the whole act worthless. More than 500,000 North Carolina residents currently utilize the health care exchanges created by Obamacare, and the number of uninsured has decreased by some 30 percent, still at 13 percent, however. If the Supreme Court rules Obamacare is unconstitutional, what's going to happen? Can we expect more Medicaid applications? What do you think, Erica? Well, I don't know if we'll see more applications, but I think we know that we won't see them approved. Um, in order to qualify for Medicaid in North Carolina, these folks would have to be a parent who makes less than 44% of the federal poverty line. So for a single mom with one child, that's around $7,200. Um, She's not on the exchange. She's sitting in the cover. Are you talking about seventy-two hundred a month or seventy-two thousand? Seventy-two hundred dollars a month. Okay. Or no, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Seventy-two hundred dollars a year. That's oh, okay. if she makes more than seventy-two hundred dollars a year, she can't get on Medicaid. Um, the folks wow. who are on the exchange are not. They have to make over a hundred percent of the federal poverty line to get on the exchange. I thought so one hundred thirty-two or something like that. It is in states that have expanded Medicaid because uh, North Carolina hasn't. We are able to get folks on the exchange at a hundred percent. I should have known you'd know what the <laughs> statistics were. So, so what do you think about this concept? Are we, it, will it ultimately end up? You know, Justice John Roberts was the one who ruled it was constitutional to start off with. Well, you know, I hope that the ACA stays in place because if, if the courts do rule that it's unconstitutional, then what we're going to see are a lot more working families in North Carolina who are lacking coverage. And that's going to result in a lot greater ER usage, a lot greater uncompensated care costs for our hospitals. We're going to see more rural hospital closures in communities who can, who can you know, manage that the least. Um, we're also going to see a lot of folks who have those pre-existing conditions lose that protection. Um, and then we have more people who have high blood pressure who end up with heart attacks because they can't get their medicine. Rick, this could just be, this could be an, a, a disaster in the making if they just rule out Obamacare. Do you think that'll ever happen? Well, as Aaron Rodgers said a couple of years ago, R-E-L-A-X, relax. The the ruling, I was trying to work out the letters there. <laughs> the, the ruling that by the trial court judge in Texas did indeed say that the mandate was unconstitutional. The, the law does not have a severability clause in it, which means that if indeed that withstands an appeal, the law is unconstitutional. However, the Supreme Court would have to get involved. The Supreme Court, I believe this week in its conference, is deciding whether or not it's going to expedite. Case, yeah. okay, well, here's the thing. Let's say the Supreme Court agrees to hear the case. What does that mean? That means probably we might hear oral arguments in that case in October. We might get a ruling in June of next year. So there's going to be at least a period of 18 months, even if the Supreme Court says we're going to expedite this thing. We've got another 18 months before anything like this comes down. And then after that point, you have insurance companies that have contracts that are not going to be invalidated. So people who have insurance on the exchange are at least two so it, years out. Yeah, I was getting ready to say. And so you're talking about a period of at the fastest But how is this going to happen when Chief Justice Roberts has already ruled that Obamacare is constitutional. Well, that's it, it goes back to Roberts, and Roberts may indeed say Is the say, makeup yes. of the court sufficiently different that he could lose that argument uh, now? Not necessarily, and that's another question that comes along, too, and what happens to the justices who are currently on the court within the next two-year period. So this is something that's not going to unfold anytime soon. And, uh, in fact, if the Supreme Court says we're not going to hear this in an expedited manner, then it's the, the Court of Appeals in New Orleans sent it back to the trial court judge to do some more th work on it. So, I mean, we're talking about something that could be five years down the road. We could well have a completely different health care system by the time this particular well, legal this dispute Well, this impacts 500,000 North Carolinians, so this is a, a pretty important factor. So it is a pretty important concerned. factor, but for the next couple of years, it shouldn't affect them at all. All right. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspend. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspend.com.